Warren Evans has never been camera shy, but the chief who welcomed Hollywood into his world was definitely taking the heat from our cameras lately. As Detroit's top cop, Warren Evans loved the spotlight. I'll do whatever it takes. In this promo for a reality TV show called The Chief, it appears Evans was on board to pitch the project. That show led to his resignation, but our cameras have been showing another side of Evans' department for months. The Action News investigators have been pressing the chief for answers on several issues, and his PR guru's typical response of this was a problem before Evans was put in charge started to wear thin. Is forcing them to work double shifts repeatedly? appropriate well first of all I have not been made aware of either of the assertions you made about people falling asleep I recently demanded answers from the chief about serious staffing shortages in the department's 911 call center Evans got testy when I pushed him for specifics about why 911 operators were being disciplined for refusing to work repeated double shifts what you're doing is asking me about something in the nuance of a bureau somewhere that has never been brought to my attention so you're going to hire more people Said that 20 minutes ago. In May, I also questioned Evans' administration on the department's awful homicide case closure rate, which until recently hovered around 37 percent. Is the closure rate good enough? No. No. Evans said under his command, the department was improving the case closure rate, but his public relations staffers were hesitant at first to grant us access for the story. Chief Evans also took heat for the police shooting of seven-year-old Ayanna Jones, killed during a raid while a reality TV crew was filming for the show The First 48. Warren Evans had a lot of critics inside his own department, but he also had a lot of supporters, and his public relations folks definitely worked very hard to minimize any sort of negative publicity while Evans was in charge. Reporting in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, Channel 7 Action News. All right.